Sympathy is not a good basis for hiring. I'm Nancy Schick of Third Year Conflict Resolution. And in my last video, I told you about Cliff. He had hired a friend and it wasn't working out. That's how I originally met him. So if sympathy isn't a good basis, if you shouldn't hire your friends when they're unemployed, what is a good basis? And quite simply, it's compatibility, just like other relationships. You wanna ask yourself questions like, does the business need this particular job that my friend can fill? Or a, another way you might look at it is, will it generate revenue, right? Because you are in business. And I get it, you wanna help people out. I've made these mistakes myself. And <laughs> as a small business owner, I've done it. So second, you wanna ask, can this particular friend do the work well once you've determined that your business needs it? And can they do it with minimal supervision? Because as much as you'd like to believe that you're gonna train them and you're gonna bring them along and they're gonna magically be your ideal employee, that has not been my experience. You wanna, you wanna have, especially if you're in a small business, you wanna have that person who can fill the need pretty quickly. You just don't have the time. If you're a small business owner, there's a good chance that you're also making the coffee, unclogging the toilet and a lot of other things, right? As well as doing the work that keeps your business going. And third, you wanna ask before you hire this friend or loved one or, or any employee really, can, do they genuinely want to contribute to your business success? Right, we all know that we've hired because somebody talks a mean game, but really what they're just looking for is a paycheck. And look, we all need to get paid. There's nothing wrong with that. But if they're not really invested in, in your business success, there's a good chance it's not gonna work out. But then once you've answered that, if you say, yeah, I'm ready to take this chance, I want you to stop and do one other thing. I want you to consider what evidence you have beyond your gut instinct that says this person is gonna fit in this job. Because you don't actually do them any favors if you hire them and set them up to not do well in your business. You set them up for failure. And that's where a lot of these relationships break down, whether it's your friend or any other employee. So if you've made a bad hire and you wanna talk about it, click the link in the notes of the video, We'll do a breakthrough call. And in the meantime, keep listening with your third ear for those hurts you can heal.